Hey Assassins, welcome to today's video. Now, in my comment section on my YouTube and in my Discord, I've had a lot of questions about who's the best to generate coins, who's the best for the fastest for doing Intel. So today's video is going to be basically how to optimize your HQ. We're going to go through all of that. So it basically gives you a little bit of a pre-warning of who's the best to rank up to obviously take advantage of these abilities and their HQ perks and things like that. So we're going to break down everything that you need to know about it, including HQ perks, um, the way the crafting and learning and everything like that comes into it. And I'll even show you the Luciano trick as well, because even though I did do a video on that, I'll still get asked. So um, yeah, we're gonna go through all that. But if you are new, consider subscribing because the channel's doing really well lately. And this is hashtag a road to a thousand subscribers. So if you are subscribed, give me a shout out to any groups or forums you're in. Let's just make this the number one Assassin's Creed Rebellion channel. But I think it is the only Assassin's Creed Rebellion channel, but that doesn't matter. Hashtag road to a thousand. Right, so let's get into it. I'm going to start where obviously everybody probably wants me to start, and that's the coins. So as you can see by my coins, they are shooting up faster than a coin a second. So I'm generating them exceedingly quickly. So I've got to collect these to pop into the room. Right, let's go in. As you can see, basically just over 40 minutes for me to accrue 6,500 coins. So for me, this is the fastest. As you can see, next to Lupo and Flora, you've got your production. So that little number next to the money bags is just the production. So any room that requires this will have that value there. But obviously you can see the little orange squares as well. They're your hero HQ perks. And certain heroes have them, certain heroes don't. Um, so for me, gathering coins the fastest is this combo here. But if I was to just turn this off overnight, I would pop Maya and uh, is it Edward or Blackbeard? Rodrigo, either one of the two. It doesn't matter. That shoots up to 9,750 coins. Now overnight... That isn't going to bother me. It takes a hell of a lot longer. And obviously, you know, 6.5K coins in 40 minutes compared to 9,750 in 3 hours and 45 minutes. There, Obviously, it's quicker to use Lupo and Flora. And the reason for that is, is if you look at their HQ um, perks, let's go to their skills. HQ perks, so it generates coins 20% faster in the treasury. Now, because they've got very high production levels, that ability obviously just speeds them up a hell of a lot more. So if you look at Rodrigo here, he's got increased um, amount that you can hold in the treasury. So maximum capacity by 20%, but he only generates coins 15% faster. So obviously you're missing that 5% and that's the difference. That's why even though he is higher production value, he's still not as quick as Flora. So that's my go-to team. And obviously when it hits overnight, I change my team around so that I get the maximum coins I can when I wake up in the morning. So that is my coin, my well, my treasury. So right, let's keep them assigned there. Right, now let's go into my Intel. Now I've not got anybody in here. It's currently at 60. Um, I've had to obviously, I couldn't use all my Intel for the purpose of this video because I had so much to collect from the challenges. But right, if we go in here again, again, it's done on production. But you look at it, there is no hero perks for this for some reason. There's no HQ perks for Intel, which I'm hoping they will release with a hero soon. But so as you can see, this is purely done off of production and Machiavelli and Rodrigo are my first two now this will stump Machiavelli in something else because he's very good at something else so you've got to make a sacrifice somewhere along the line but intel is probably your second most valuable thing the more intel you can gather and the faster you can gather it the quicker you can obviously the more missions you can do and the quicker you can refill it so they're my go-to but I will keep these deselected for a minute just because obviously I can show Machiavelli in another room so that is who I choose for my intel Right, I'll show you the little Luciano trick here. Right, so Isaac and Luciano have both got an ability. Um, Isaac gets it at four star because he's a legendary. Luciano gets it at five star because he's an epic. So you can use either one of these heroes. So if we just try, I'm going to train him properly. I will, well, no, do you know what? I'll just stick that in it because I don't want to rank him up too high. So that's him now training. So if I go to him and click tr 
hero. He has a skill here that says, all heroes train at a cost that is 5,000 coins lower when in the same training room. So that doesn't really explain too much really about that. But there is a little trick that you can do with him. So if you then pick, for example, who's not going into a room, who's not good enough to go into a room. Let's get Nakat... Uh, yeah, well, no, Nakat Nakatas has actually got a hero uh, that we can use. Uh, I him is quite good as well. Sorry, I don't think he's got anything. Right. So if you do exactly 1,270 XP... It will only cost you a hundred coins. A hundred coins, that is it. If I go one more higher, it then adds a few more and it'll keep ramping up to eventually where if you were to do if I was to take him to level 50, it would only cost me five thousand coins less to do that than it would if I was to do it normally. So without this trick, it's not a great perk, but this is a very good way to train your heroes very, very cheaply. You just have to, obviously, it's quite long. You have to log in quite a bit to obviously claim this. Like if I was to do this basically every 48 minutes, I'd have to log in. So it's it does take its time. But as you can see, they've got the learning ability here. And basically, the higher that number, the quicker they will train. So, for example, Horatio, I can't show him because he's level 50. He's 1.1k for learning. He absolutely, honestly, it took, to do that Luciano trick, I think it took me two minutes to train him. He was absolutely ridiculous. So the higher you get a hero, every time you rank up a level, their learning goes up a little bit more. So basically, the higher you get the hero, the quicker they will technically be able to do this Luciano trick. But it is still very, very time consuming. Now, there are a few perks in this as well. Um, Darius has got it. Um... It all depends. If you're looking for coin saving, the Luciano trick is the one to go. Here, all heroes train 20% faster. So if you are looking for that, I want to quickly get a hero to um, rank 50 or to a certain level, pop them in a room with Darius and they'll get their 20% faster. So if there's a deadline you've got to meet, it can always help you that way. Um, Ezio had it. I don't know if I've got a hero at the minute that can do it. I don't know it nice that they've put just a great big block there um uh what's mario's ability i don't think mario's got the, the ability no just training is 20 percent lower may help you for a big um for a big big rank up she's got the xp no it was only um Ezio. see Ezio had an ability where all heroes earn 10% more XP while training in the same room. So what would be good is when you have your month, uh, Wednesdays it is, when you get more XP per codex for training up a hero. If you put him in the same room, you just it would save you so many codexes. But obviously, I've gone past that. Um, I've got him to level 50. I don't regret it. I don't really enjoy that as I do my cheap training with Luciano. So right, that is the main core bit of your HQ. Uh, we'll now skip over to the other side. As you can see, look how quickly look, I'm just collecting coins left, right, and center. Right, so we'll do these bits first. Right, so when it comes to crafting your, your uh, accessories, now certain heroes have certain abilities regarding whether it's armory, uh, workshop, or I can't remember what the other one is. What is it? Armor Smith, Weapon Smith, and the workshop. So if I go to the workshop here, Right, a good tip for this, do not worry about the time it takes you to craft a weapon, uh, especially a T5 weapon. It's all about saving. When you're putting down a hell of a lot of money, like these are hundred, you know, 150,000 coins each. Right, apologies for that. Sorry the signal went. No shock anybody who's been in my live stream. Right, so you 150,000 coins for one of these for legendary weapons or accessories it's even more so if i go to a legendary thing here double the price so you want somebody who can really chip that price down if we go to machiavelli's pouch um no actually i'll go to something just in case i do accidentally craft it right so as you can see here shakira is the best one for this for the pure simple fact that he saves you so many coins 
I know it takes just under a day, but even if you go to Bartholomew, even if you go to everyone else like Faris, are you really going to miss them four hours? You're not. It, it, it makes no, you know, there's no point. For the sake of saving 60,000 coins, I'm sure you can wait just that little bit longer. And the reason for that is if you go to his skill here, it says crafting weapons at 20% lower cost in a workshop. So he basically just saves you so much, uh, so much coins. So many other abilities here. That, uh, do you know what? I'll go through them on the other on the other one. So yeah, basically Shakira is the one for very very cheap um, accessories. Uh, go to the arm thing here. Uh, I believe it's Ballastar or Baltastar. Baltastar is the one you want. Gene does it fairly cheap as well, but Baltastar is the one who is going to train it the cheapest, um, craft it the cheapest for you. And as I said, it's all about saving them coins when you get to end game. So the Ballast uh, Star for that one and for your weapons, I believe it's Alvero. I've got a feeling it's Alvero off the top of my head. Um, look at that, two things. Right, let's just do that one. Uh, I think Musa can do it as well. Yeah, Musa and Alvero. So that's lovely. So you've got two there that do it for cheaper. As I said, you don't want to worry about, you know, Domingo can probably do it in what, 10 out, like really for the sake of an extra 30,000 coins, it's going to do it in an hour less. Not even that, I think it's 40 minutes. So yeah, just stick with the cheapest in this one. Right, now... Last but not least, you've obviously got your production rooms where you craft your wood, your supply, uh, your supply room, your potion room, and your library. So we'll start with the library first. Now, these HQ abilities work very different, and certain heroes will do it better than others when selecting a certain, um, you know, one. So whether you want two codexes, four, eight, because the time, you know, varies very differently. So if I go to this. Machiavelli is my quickest. So the reason for that is if I go to skills, um, research is codex 20% faster in the library. So 20% um, of the original time that it says, uh, 11 hours, uh, sorry, one hour, 36 minutes. Obviously you take into consideration his production level as well. He's far higher than anybody else. It, you know, it's, just yeah it's machiavelli all the way but then when you get to eight codexes there isn't much difference in it at all uh jamie has caught up because oh uh, well i don't know why i honestly do not know why there's not much in between it but obviously when it becomes a bigger stretch the time limit just goes down a hell of a lot more so yeah machiavelli and jamie not much between them whichever one you're training or using at the time just shove the other one in now. I mean, Jamie can still um, go up a few levels, the same as Machiavelli. So, yeah, they're the two you want for your codexes. Um, obviously, if you're logging in a lot, Machiavelli on the two codexes works out quicker than the eight because you can constantly basically get, like, two codexes every 11 minutes. Right, your potions. Uh, if you're at Endgame like me and you've gone through loads of heat with the vents, you probably don't need potions. So... Unfortunately, it is a requirement for your daily challenges. So for me, I just craft this strong medicine here uh, and I'll just give it to Garshon. Why? Because he's a little bit cheaper than everybody else. Not much, but a little. And yeah, that's the only reason, that's the only one really to use. So just when you're fortunate enough, not a great hero, to get Garshon at five star, just get him crafting your, um, your potions. Just do one a day and it'll just collect, claim it that day when you do your daily rewards and just start him again and collect it the next day you shouldn't really be needing potions i mean look how many i've got it's ridiculous so yeah that room isn't as important but right let's get to this one right so what i'm going to do is someone instagrammed me and basically said like their five star usive could, was couldn't collect uh at exactly the same time to collect this as Nakatas did, and they've got the same ability. Well, they haven't. There's two different hero perks in this. One is done on time, and one is done on percentages. So if you look at this, it says, um, if you look at his skill here, 
gathers supplies 30% faster from a supply room. So he does it at 30% faster, but Nakas does it at 20 minutes. Obviously, this will scale higher. Let me just get somebody who's actually... Uh, show No, Alonso. No, Rosa. Let's get Rosa because she's got the ability and it's a five star. So she gathers it in 25 minutes. So if you've got half an hour, for example, to craft something, taking 25 minutes off of that is quicker than taking 20% off of that because it's obviously all done in percentages. So yeah, if you've got half hour to do it, you take 25 minutes off of it, it's going to take you five minutes. If you take 20% uh, off of that, I think it still works out about 20 minutes. So yeah, you've got to be careful when looking at this that there's a one per minutes and one percentage. Obviously, when it comes to crafting high runs, the people with the percentage is going to do it a lot quicker because taking 15 minutes off of an hour, um, off of four hours, is nowhere near as good as taking 20% off of four hours. So yeah, basically, I use Shojin for these. I don't need these. If you're at the end game, you've probably got resources coming out of your ear rolls. I know I have. But if you're still trying to craft um, uh, them, the rooms, you still need to upgrade them. Apart from getting, obviously, your resources in missions, which you can quite easily do, uh, Shojin and uh, it's got, obviously, and Rosa are probably your best two to go for because they've got high production. And, obviously, their perks work in different ways, but you can, obviously, adapt that to the style that you want to adapt it to. So that is your HQ. Um, I hope that I've covered everything for you. I hope you found it useful. And yeah, now you know who to go for, who to rank up, and how to maximize your HQ. So thank you ever so much for watching, Assassins. You take care and good night.